Christ. This is basically the story of, uh, about just a really basic story about the, the, the rocks you can find in Belekraina. So we find a lot of limestones, really a lot of limestones. It's basically just limestone. And uh, in the area of Metlika, uh, this is uh, towards north, uh, from here we find fish sediments. They're very good for wine. This is very important. Uh, and in this central area, we stay, we stay uh, here. We find very young, these rocks that I say before, they're Mesozoic, they're quite old. And uh, here, this is where we stay, uh, uh, stand. Uh, now it's, they're quite young rocks and they're connected to the subsidence of the Centra Belakraina and formation of the lake and the uh, course. They are un uh, generally they're connected to the formation of the big lowlands of the Pannonian uh, basin. As I told before, it's the, the Belakraina is the region of the limestones and, and or carbonites. There are two rocks, limestone and dolomite. And one, here we see one really not splendid but a nice outcrop of the of the limestone or dolomite. They're very they're very similar. It's all also for me as a geologist sometimes I cannot distinguish between them. So I use some acids and stuff like this. Uh, and they all look uh, like this. Um, grey, white and uh, sometimes dark grey or black. Uh, with started with fossils and uh, what I have in my hand here is uh, the one special fossil it's called stromatolite layer and it's uh, this was deposited in uh, so-called tidal flats uh, because here was very flat sea in some uh, in, in some parts there were also some islands but they were so uh, low so during the uh, high tide and they were under the sea and during the low tide they were exposed to the uh, to the surface so in this kind of the uh, um, and there were really uh, large areas so in this kind this kind of the environment no one can live except one very small uh, animals they they are called uh, primary algae and they make these mats these uh, blankets of this uh, really slimy stuff and they live on these uh, algal uh, flats. And this carbonate material is like gluing to this uh, mat and forming this kind of, uh, of fossils. So, uh, one this layer, or we call it lamine, is actually one this uh, period when uh, there was a vast uh, algal mat covering the whole island. This was a really flat island. It was not actually an island. It was more just a very flat area. During uh, sometimes under the sea and then after a couple of hours it was uh, uh, superiorly exposed. And um, you get this sedimentation uh, uh, slowly uh, going up, 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 up. And then when you cut this rock you get this very special lamine. It's called stromatolytic lamine. Geologists, we are very familiar with this kind of rock, but <laughs> for uh, some people, they are not familiar with rocks. Uh, it, it's quite interesting, I guess. One kind, one kind of the fossil you can find in limestones. For, for limestones are usually very, um, very rich uh, in different kind of fossils. Um, what we will do now? Uh, we will go uh, to see another feature. Uh, which is also uh, closely connected to the limestones, uh, but after the deposition. When the limestones are made, something happens to them and they start to dissolve. And in this special uh, uh, phenomena, uh, start to develop in uh, limestones and it's called karst. We'll go to, to see one point which, which is, uh, for, uh, at least for myself, very interesting uh, geologically.